Hi everyone, it's Sonia Farrell here from All Heart by Sonia Farrell and Pet Portraits by Sonia Farrell. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm actually in the process of uh, tidying up and finalizing and doing all those little last bits and pieces uh, on this portrait, uh, pet portrait of Moo. So Moo is a 10-year-old Rottweiler pup. Um, she unfortunately has passed, um, she has crossed the Rainbow Bridge, but she is truly being appreciated and celebrated uh, by her um, her, her human uh, family and human friends. Um, so Melissa, who um, has done some other portraits with me as well, has um, engaged me to paint the beautiful move for her lovely friend Jane as a birthday gift. So it was so hard. <laughs> <laughs> so hard to keep it a secret I mean I'm not allowed to say anything I'm not allowed to post any photos I'm, I'm even having to keep this video until after <laughs> it's been gifted so I'm gonna have to be patient and that's not my strongest point <laughs> but in any case so Moo is lovingly being remembered in this portrait and um, I, I think you might notice there there are a few hearts so when I paint I see hearts and I, I tend to bring them into the uh, portraits. There's, there's heaps hidden all over. So um, it's been such a pleasure to paint this beautiful pup. Um, she's been celebrated in green, uh, which is, by the way, her mummy's favorite color, which is lovely. Um, but a green also, uh, and I'll just show from the side, uh, we've gone with green on the canvas sides as well. Green uh, is also a great way to, um, to, to intuitively celebrate those uh, characteristics of the pet that we truly love things like being really lovable um, loving harmony and love and uh, really wanting to make peace and keep everyone happy and and Moo was uh, definitely one that um, really loved her mummy um, when I asked Melissa uh, you know to tell me more about Moo she said Moo is um, Moo's favorite thing in the whole world is her mummy and that was so sweet um, and then apparently a second uh, love which comes really close after that is food <laughs> so Moo loved her little tidbits and her treats and her food um, she um, sounds like she was absolutely adorable um, we've also used blue to depict um, some of the characteristics of this beautiful pup blue standing for uh, de dependability uh, reliability um, responsibility all those litties that we associate with our best friend so um, she was uh, just an adorable pup um, just there for her mum all the time and her mum there for her all the time. Uh, big smile from her. Um, I used a photo, the reference photo that I used for this portrait was um, actually Melissa's uh, photo. So Melissa is actually a professional photographer, pet photographer. And um, it was such a pleasure to paint with um, such a really lovely detailed photo. Um, now, if you do end up having to engage me to do a pet portrait and you're using a professional photo, we'll need to get like <laughs> written permission from the photographer but in this case it was Melissa engaged me so she was quite happy for me to use the um the her her photo um and I'll actually just bring it up closer because um because of the lovely detail in the photo I was actually able to capture um just some really interesting colors in Moo's eyes um that had come up in the photo and um it makes for such uh, an amazing uh, difference it's some amazing detail that I can bring into the portraits so the better the photo um, the better the, the the detail on the on the painting as well so it's been an absolute pleasure to um, really celebrate this beautiful pup um, with you guys um, I, I actually had a bit of a chuckle um, when uh, when you have a portrait um, done by me I, I give you like a form to complete um, which just keeps me focused on the right things as I'm painting because I'm getting sidetracked by all the photos and the the fun parts and like uh, wanting to do the eyes and all that sort of stuff um so the form keeps you sort of grounded and um in that uh form I had uh asked what are some of the tricks the pet can do and Melissa had come back um because she'd like done the secret squirrel birthday present thing that I'm not allowed to say a thing about <laughs> until after the gift is given but um, she had to come back there and said that uh, Moo's uh, most 
well, the tricks that she can do includes uh, sleeping on the couch <laughs> and sleeping on the bed. <laughs> So that was so cute. Um, it just makes me uh, just really appreciate uh, Melissa's sense of humor and uh, they must have such a, rela a wonderful relationship, Melissa and Jane. And obviously, um, Moo um, was uh, just really so special for, for them as well. So thank you for the opportunity to, um, to paint uh, this gorgeous pup, uh, Melissa. And thank you for the opportunity to have done something so special for you, Jane. Um, it's just such a pleasure to to do these portraits and it, it really warms my heart when um, I see there's such a connection between um, pet and porent. <laughs> so um, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. I'll continue um, with my final steps um, to firm up and get this uh, portrait ready to go. And... Um, yeah, so thank you. If you have any questions about any of the artworks that I do, feel free to um, drop me a message and I look forward to seeing you again. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Um, you might want to go back. There's heaps of videos that I've done celebrating p pets that I've, done, uh, uh, that I've painted. So you're welcome to go back on those and uh, find your favorite breed. Um, or if you have any questions, feel free to drop onto my website, www.allheartbysoniafarrell. Uh, dot com and that should get lead you to my uh, custom pet portrait um, section on my website and um, yeah feel free to ask any questions you might have thank you again for the opportunity thanks for joining me um, have a wonderful rest of your day and evening all the best thank you bye